hey, whether you have no experience or 20 years of experience working in AutoCAD, there are always things, tips and tricks that you can learn to improve your workflow. So let's take a look at some of these tips and tricks. So let me share my screen over here. And one of the first tips and tricks to improve your workflow is the select previous. So let's say for instance, you did a selection, maybe a complex sele selection using filters, using, you know, um, other methods. But for this example, I'm gonna use, let's say the stretch command. And I selected these objects to stretch it like so. And for some reason, I, you know, lo lose this selection. So I don't have to do it again. I don't have to select the objects again. There is, a, you can use simply the same command stretch. And instead of selecting it, you can use the P uh, for previous. So once you press uh, enter, you can see that your selection was automatically uh, made by AutoCAD, the last selection. So I can simply at this point press enter and you know, I have my selection again. All right. So let's go with the next tip and trick. And this is number four. And this is the space bar. So for this example, I'm going to put this over here really quick to show you better. And the space bar is very useful because first you need to adjust your behavior, right? So for the best uh, workflow in AutoCAD, try to use one hand on your keyboard and the other hand uh, with your mouse. So at this point, this finger, your thumb, can control or be all the time in the space bar because instead of using enter or return, always the space bar will do the same. So let's say I'm gonna use a command S, enter, you know, all of that. So again, one hand on your keyboard. The only time that I use two hands on my keyboard is if I have to type a big note or long note, I could simply type the whole note. But if, the, if there is only words, I can simply type it with one hand. So that's, now, now that you know that behavior, let me show you what, what the real power of the space bar. So for instance, let me go back to my screen. So instead of, let's say I used the stretch command before. Now I can, instead of typing S again for the stretch command, I can simply type, I can simply press the space bar. Daddy. 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 So the Daddy. space bar is, the, the space bar is used to repeat any command in AutoCAD. So for instance, if I type the M for move, and I'm gonna move, let's say these objects, right? I'll move it right here. Instead of um, using the move command again to repeat it, I'm gonna simply press the space bar like so and it will automatically pick the last command, in this case, move. So another trick with the space bar is that, let's say I'm gonna scale this, this is too tiny of a bollard, so I'm gonna scan it, scale it using the scale command, right? So from this point, I'm gonna scale it to two times bigger, two and enter. So instead of going to this other bollard and again, I'm gonna press the space bar to active this delay, the last command scale. So I'm gonna click here and instead of typing two again, I'll simply press space bar because AutoCAD also will remember the last properties that you use in this case, two times bigger. All right, so very helpful, the space bar, that's the next trick or technique that you should incorporate to work faster in AutoCAD. 
So let's go with the next tip and trick. And this is the keyboard shortcuts. You probably already know that to work faster instead of looking at the commands on the ribbon, you can simply type it shortcut, right? Let's say instead of finding the line command here, I can simply type L, press enter and start drawing my lines. So sometimes happen that some commands don't have these keyboard shortcuts. For instance, the select similar command doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, but I use it all the time to um, improve my workflow. So what you can do is go to the express tools and use the command aliases to assign a keyboard shortcut to this long uh, command. So once you are here, you can simply click add and then here in the AutoCAD commands, type select similar and then the alias, you can use something like SS because there is already the S keyboard shortcut for the stretch command. So, but the SS will work. So once you click OK and click apply, yes, OK, and OK. Now, the next time that you want to use the select um, similar command, simply type SS and it will automatically use the select similar command like so. Now you can start implementing the same idea with your favorite tools or commands. All right, let's go with the next tip and trick to improve your workflow. And this would be the control key. Yes. So basically the control key is very useful on your keyboard, the control key. For instance, um, right here I have this hatch that is needed to be around these objects. So instead of hovering over this hatch and then pick add vertex, I can simply right like select over add vertex, click on your vertex and so on. You can simply right click, you can simply click here and press the control key to add a point. So control key, boom, click control key and boom. See how easy it was? So this will work with polylines, hatches and so on. Again, you can simply click, left click and press control once and it will add automatically another point. Okay, so let's go with the next tip and trick. So, and this would be the command macros. Yes, so command, you probably know at this point, very common, uh, a lot of commands in AutoCAD, but what about macros, right? So for instance, I have right here um, the text or textile that are very different. One is at HDG style, the other one is at HL and so on. I want to have consistency in my drawing, so I would like to change them all at once to one single textile. So I created a macro, a command macro that can do the lazy textile, can change all of them at once. So you can simply click on it and you saw the it automatically match the Verdana textile <laughs> to my whole drawing to keep my drawing consistent. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna do that because I wanted to show you really quick how this is done. So command macros are simply the use of many commands together um, and you can launch it with one single click. So you can do it by using the CUI command and we'll open this box. Here you can cli click this star icon to create a brand new command. Here you can rename it. So for instance, 
lazy x style so once you do that here in the macro code simply click these three points and here we're gonna simply for instance for this lazy textile command you can simply type opt prop and the semicolon would mean an enter and then i'm gonna say all another enter another enter to accept that t to accept that and then i'm gonna say i want all of my text to be verdana so another enter and another enter so this is a very simple command macro that will work quickly so let's click ok now Let's click apply and then your lazy textile command should be over here. You can assign it an icon if you want, but then the easiest place to place it is over here on the quick access panel. So it's right here, lazy textile. So I'm gonna simply click OK. And now you can see again that the text is not consistent. So simply use your new command macro to change everything at once. And again, these are some of my tips and tricks um, to improve your AutoCAD workflow, all right? So if you wanna improve even faster your workflow, here is another AutoCAD macro for you, thanks to my supporters. Thank <laughs> you.